All right, so next up, we're taking a look at Cecil or Cecil, however you want to pronounce it, from Final Fantasy IV. He also has the ability to switch uh, his stances during gameplay or his roles, if you will, from a paladin to a dark knight. The paladin excels in the air and has a lot bit more magical abilities than the dark knight, but the dark knight hits a little bit harder and is a lot better on the ground. So this is very essential when you're playing uh, against some of the more technical characters. It's, it's really important to know which style to switch into when you get the chance, uh, which abilities to use, and stuff like that. The EX uh, ability that I picked for this character it is between Luminous Blast as the Paladin and Tenebrous Blast as the Dark Knight. I believe I pronounced that correctly, probably not. But the difference between that is in the Dark Knight form, the EX ball moves a lot slower, but has a little bit better tracking, whereas the Luminous Blast and the Paladin form doesn't have the best tracking. It goes half the distance, but it also is a lot quicker and it leaves a bigger area of effect than the Dark Knight version. So it's very useful to kind of catch people slipping if they come in, if you're the paladin, you can quickly throw that out. Uh, it has a pretty short range, but again, it leaves a bigger area of effect. The Timbrous Blast is good for follow-ups, so you so shoot that out there and then have the people always aware of it. And then you can excel in your on your ground combos or your, or your other uh, HP abilities, such as if you press back and X and the Dark Knight form, it leaves a small gravitational pull which draws people near, and then you can have the Timbrous Blast kind of track them towards that center effect so it, it's it's very useful it's really good combo potential you have to be aware that while you're in this form you move a lot slower than you do in the paladin form but you do a lot more damage anyway uh, my experience with this character i've played a lot of this character in the psp version and i know there's going to be some blaring difference between the psp and the ps4 slash arcade version but I feel very comfortable with this character. Um, my history in fighting games and games in general, I always like complex characters or characters who have stance switches. For example, in Final Fantasy, uh, excuse me, and Street Fighter 4, I played Gen, which he has two stances that he changes during combat. I love those characters because it adds a, a, a amount of depth that isn't essentially there if you pick someone like Ryu, Ken, or Kami, or something like that. Regardless, definitely one of my favorite characters when the full game does come out. You're going to be seeing a lot of this character on the channel. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at Bart from Final Fantasy V. So enjoy the rest of the matches and then look forward to the next video.